is windy and uh, you understand why we're building wind farms uh, outside the coast of Norfolk. A few years back we developed Sheringham Shoal, some 20 kilometres from shore in UK. Now we have taken one step further offshore. The Dodgen Wind project is the construction of 67 uh, 6 megawatts uh, turbines outside the coast of Norfolk. It's about 40 kilometers from shore and it's coming ashore here in Weybourne where it's uh, moving further towards Necton. It's a 47 kilometer land cable. The turbines are fixed to the seabed by solid foundations. This is one of the 67 monopiles for the Dudgeon project. They are the biggest ones of these monopiles are over 1,000 tons and over 70 meters long. In spring and summer 2016, the foundations were installed. The power generated by the turbines are gathered and transformed by an offshore substation. This was constructed locally in Lowestoft. Health and safety wise, this, uh, this uh, offshore operation has been a success as the rest of the foundation installation has been with the SHL uh, part of the project. So that's very good. This is where we're building the onshore substation. This is where the power from uh, Dutchen is being transferred to the national grid in, a, in the existing overhead uh, lines. And by the River Yare in Great Yarmouth, we've established a new operations centre and base in what used to be an old paper storage. We have come together to name our vessel Esvakt Njord. The Dudgeon project is one of the top 10 uh, wind farms in the world and also in particular it's, it's the second one that we've been developing after Sheringham Shoal. Well, Stato has a, a skill set which is perfect for offshore wind. We have uh, marine operations, uh, international supply chain and we use much of the oil and gas industry expertise actually in wind farms themselves as well. So it's very compatible for us as, as a large operator in oil and gas. Well, we've just started the very first loadout for Dudgeon and we set the target for 2nd of January 2017, more than four years ago, and it was spot on. It's not just the first loadout for Dudgeon, it's also the very first loadout from this new site here in Hull. Over 18 months, the project had about 4,000 vessel days. One by one, the turbines were installed and started producing. The brand new service operating vessel, SVAC Njord, is operating the field with a walk to work solution. Due to the distance offshore, we had to come up with something else than day in and out travels every day. The solution to that was the SVAC Njord, our service operation vessel, that stays out there for 14 days and come in for replenishment and goes out again. Now, Dudgeon Offshore Wind Farm is ready to power more than 400,000 UK households. And everything is controlled from our operations centre in Great Yarmouth. The control room is set up to monitor the wind farm 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We monitor all the safety systems on offshore. We also monitor the vessels and the um, radio communications as well, just to make sure that everybody's safe. We have now recruited everyone that is supposed to be here for stable operations. 28 local people have been employed and we have approximately 70 contractors, also mostly from the UK. 
it has been uh, quite amazing and also uh, an experience for a lot of uh, new people coming into the project and gradually be employed, taking over equipment, learning everything and then uh, now in full operations and um, hopefully we can do more of this in the future. In a successful uh, project there needs to be a successful cooperation and in Dutchen we've had a successful cooperation with the UK government and our partners Stadtkraft and Mazda. We delivered on time. On the 15th of October we had the ultimate milestone with an official handover to operations. On that day 67 turbines produced at a capacity and the farm delivered 402 megawatts. Cost-wise it's been uh, very good. We delivered significantly lower than the budget. And at last, last but not least, we delivered the project without any serious injuries to personnel. So after a hectic installation and construction period of three years, there's now 25 years of operation in the UK.